Welcome back to another installment of Injustice Year Zero. Now, in our last video, what we saw was the Joker. He got a hold of this, like, helmet of chaos, right? So he's all-powerful, the most powerful he's ever been. And he's going to kill the Justice Society, Batman, and the Justice League, right? He's just going to kill a bunch of heroes. Now, this is supposed to set up the Injustice universe, right? Like, year one through five, and the original Injustice game. And the issue we're going over today is the penultimate issue. So, we're going to start to see some developments that should lead into the Injustice universe, right? The original story. So, if you guys are ready, let's dive into Injustice, year zero, number 13. We begin at the Hall of Justice, and we see all the heroes are defeated. The Hall of Justice is in rubble. Batman gets up. He says, Priory 1, Hall of Justice under attack. He is here. Joker is here. Superman Metropolis hears the call. Now, Joker flies down and says, why did I get ancient chaotic powers ages ago? This oats. Now he flies down and sees all these people with their phones out. And Joker says, Hmm, gawking onlookers. Hi, any of you news reporters? And this woman walks up. She says, Uh, yes. And Joker says, Great. Tell your people to start broadcasting. This is going to be one hell of an exclusive. The fall of the gods. Now we see Alan Sky. He wakes up from his coma and says, uh, Jim, what did the Joker make me do? And Jim says, hey, it's okay, we can talk about it later. Now we see on the news that the Joker has attacked the Hall of Justice. Alan Scott says, Joker, he's attacking. Now Alan Scott puts on his ring and becomes a Green Lantern once again. He's a hero again, and he's gonna save his friends. He flies off. Now we see next that Sume makes it to the Hall of Justice and sees Joker across from him. Now Superman says, Joker. Joker says, Superman, are you really gonna waste time on me? I'm pretty sure your friends are dying down there. Now, Superman flies down to the rubble and sees all his heroes defeated and Amazing Man holding up this rock so it doesn't crush them. Now, Superman says, You okay, Amazing Man? And Amazing Man, holding up this rock, very tired, says, I've got this, Superman. Get them out. Now, Superman then says, Is everyone okay? He saves Dr. Fates, our man, Starman. Now, Starman gets up and grits his teeth and says, no, I'm angry. Liberty Bell? And Liberty Bell gets up, she says. Yes, I'm the same. Let's go kick his ass. Now, we see Dinah Lance, the mother of Black Canary. She's behind Superman. She says to him, Superman, Ollie and Dinah are still in the wreckage somewhere. And Superman, with his eyes wide open, says, I see them, Miss Drake. I'll get them, I promise. You go help the others with Joker. Now we see Starman, he leads this group of heroes, Batman, Liberty Bell, Hot Girl, Dinah Lance, Amazing Man, Our Man, and Dr. Fates. Now Joker flies down, sees this group of heroes, and says, Oh, final standoff time, how exciting! Now, Starman flies at Joker and says, Let's see how exciting you find my fist in your... Now, Joker blasts Starman, you're a kush, and we see that Starman disappears, and you hear the sound of a wump as he's gone. Now, Dr. Fate shouts, Ted. Now, that's when all the heroes charge at Joker. Dinah Lance says, What did you do to him? And Batman says, Joker. Joker puts out his hands and says, Oh, crap. And that's when he blasts all the Joe Society members behind Batman. You're a wump. Many different wumps, right? And all the Joe Society members are gone. And Batman's the only hero left. He's shot. He falls to the ground. Then he gets back up and says, What did you? Where did they go? And Joker says, I have no idea. Chaos and all. He starts to laugh. Now one woman flies in. She says, You! Now she punches Joker into all this rubble. You're a tomb. Now one woman punches Joker once again, slams his face into the rocks. You're a tomb. Now she goes to punch again, but Joker catches her fist. You're a thud. Now, Joker slams Wood Woman into the wall. You're a crack -oom. Now, that's when we see this boxing glove arrow. He hits Joker's helmets. The helmet of chaos. You're a thick. 
Now Joker gets up. He says, ouch. What the hell? A boxing glove arrow. Now Joker gets up. You see Wonder Woman behind him, defeated in the rubble. Joker looks at this boxing glove arrow. Very curious, right? He's very curious and he says, Oh, I get. For when you want to punch someone who's a really long way away. That's, uh, actually very practical. Now, that's when all the heroes charge Joker. Black Canary, Batman, Superman. Green Arrow gets his bow and arrow ready. Now, Batman jumps up. He says, Superman, do the helmets. Take it. Now, he kicks Joker in the head. You're a kink. Now, Superman goes to grab the helmets. He tries to pull it off Joker. Joker screams and says, No, my head. You're pulling off my head. I need that for thinking. Now, Superman, let's go. And he says, I, I didn't mean to. Joker smiles, but Batman says, Superman, no. Now that's the Joker. Blast Superman back. You're a croom. And Black Canary and Batman look out in awe. Now Joker smiles and laughs a little bit and then says, Oh, you people so caring, so trusting, so stupid. You have no idea how much power I'm connected to. It's so tingly. Now Joker grabs Batman by the head and Black Canary by the wrist. Now Joker says as he has Batman by the head, he says, I could crush you like a bug right now, Batsy. But I have something far more fun in mind. You see, I was saving the best for last. He takes control of Superman. Now, Green Arrow looks at this scene and is not ready for what's about to happen. Joker gets up. Superman goes to his side and Joker says, Yes, I have his mind. And ew, he's just as earnest on the inside. Now, Joker looks down at Batman, who's now on the floor because he's defeated. Now, Superman in front of Joker. Joker says, I'm going to make sure he feels all of this. Superman, kill everyone here slowly. Turn them to mush. Leave Batman for last. I want him to watch. Joker unleashes Superman. Superman flies off to kill all his friends. And that's how he ends the penultimate chapter of Injustice Year Zero. So that was Injustice Year Zero, number 13, the penultimate chapter of this series, written by Tom Taylor and drawn by Rohe Antonio. Now, the artwork throughout was really good. I liked it. It fit the tone, and it fit the whole action sequences, right? Like, this whole issue was just a big action sequence. That's all it was. Joker arrived in the Hall of Justice, started attacking, killing, or at least making Just Society members dis disappear, Batman is fighting back, Superman shows up and then gets controlled by the Joker. That's pretty much all that happens. Now the ending of Joker like controlled Superman is very interesting because we know that Joker manipulates Superman into killing his wife Lois Lane and his unborn child in the beginning of the Injustice story. So he manipulates him there but here he literally controls him. So that's cool but there's no really connection to the beginning of the Injustice universe which is supposed to be a prelude and so far nothing has came out right like I thought this story would explain like the nuclear bomb that goes off in Metropolis and destroys it maybe but we only have one issue left and it doesn't look like that so I'm really curious on how the story this actual series will be important right like how will it set up the original Injustice story I hope it does it well I hope this is not just a filler story that all it was was Tom Taylor experimenting with Joker, making Joker more powerful throughout the series, eventually so powerful that he's just beating up the heroes and controlling Superman, right? Now, that's fun to, like, read about. It's cool. I like seeing Joker just doing whatever he wants to do. He has the Helmet of Chaos. He's fighting off all these heroes. We see the heroes rising up. Also, like, the rivalry between Batman and Joker. Like, we never seen this before. Joker at this level of power versus just a regular Batman, right? Now, Batman's not regular, but he's not enhanced, you know? Like, he doesn't have, like, the Helmet of Order or anything like that. Like, usually when Joker gets, gets more powerful... The way that Batman beats him is that Batman finds something at that level. Like, he plants ahead, right? But here, Batman is not right for it. He's just going off the fly, right? He's trying to get help from Superman, but that didn't really work, right? But still, an entertaining issue, great artwork, but I just don't see the importance of the series now. Because we've been reading this for a while, and at the beginning, I was like, okay, Amulet of Opifus, pretty dope. Just Society, that's really cool. But, as the series has gone on, it's just Joker becoming more powerful and just causing chaos. That's it. There's no real connection 
to the original like Injustice story. So I hope the final issue brings it all together and makes the series important. But right now I don't feel like it is really important. Like all you get from this issue is a big action sequence. That's it. Now if you enjoy that, that's great. Like I enjoyed it. I had a great time with it. But it's not an amazing issue. It's not even really a solid issue. It's just a quick read that is kind of just worth a dollar. And that's good because this is a DC digital series that's only a dollar. So it's easy to purchase. It's not really pricey. But still, the series has had better issues than this. So yeah, guys, overall, I give this issue a 7.5 out of 10. Still a decent issue, passable, but nothing really special at all. Like, it's fun, but that's about it. But yeah, guys, you tell me your thoughts on this issue down below. What would you rate from 1 to 10? What are your theories for the final issue? How do you think the series will connect to the original Injustice story? Because I don't see a way it could right now. But yeah, guys, if you like the video, give a big thumbs up. And new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Injustice Year Zero video. But yeah, thanks for watching, and peace out.